Tonight, the world waits as the Greek debt deadline looms. It's now just hours away with economic shockwaves expected around the world. The Ravenhoe Cafe blast driver out of a coma but unaware of the tragedy. Family anger over the stabbing of an elderly man at a Sandgate nursing home. Prisoners riot breaking through fences and setting fires over a cigarette ban. And an anxious wait for tests for a woman bitten by a Pirates of the Caribbean monkey. Across Queensland, this is 7 News. Good evening. All eyes are on Greece tonight as the deadline for a $1.6 billion debt repayment looms. The nation has just hours left to come up with the money or be thrown out of the Eurozone. If that happens, shockwaves are expected to be felt around Weather the world. Weather experts are monitoring a storm near the Solomon Islands that could become a very rare winter cyclone. Tony joins us now. And Tony, what are the chances it'll reach cyclone strength? Bill, the Weather Bureau has now declared it a high chance that's over 50% of becoming a cyclone in the next couple of days. Checking the satellite, we can see why a cloud has continued to wrap around this strengthening low uh, pressure system over the past day. Wind strengths are currently expected at around 50 k's an hour. Looking at the forecast, the likely track is slowly to the west and then stalling as the system intensifies. It would be the first July cyclone on record over Queensland waters if it does happen. Cyclone or not, the Solomon Islands are in for some wet and wild weather this week. While the Australian coast is not likely to see any adverse effects. I'll have more details and the forecast coming up soon. Thanks, Tony. Ahead in 7 News, plans for Princess Charlotte's first public outing. Bills are going up tomorrow, but you could be surprised by what will be cheaper. A Brisbane breakthrough helping prevent premature babies developing disabilities. The tables turned on Donald Trump, why the businessman has been fired. And later, you grew up with them, the old favourites about to disappear from our shelves. The Ipswich Mayor has delivered the city's budget with a call for help from state and federal governments. Residents will see an average rate rise of 2.49%, or 76 cents a week. Included in the $396 million document, $46 million for new roads and flood mitigation, and more than a million dollars to go to the City Safe program. But Mayor Paul Pasali says large projects are in jeopardy without some financial assistance. What we need for the big ticket items, the, the Norman Street Bridge, the finishing of the motorway, our, our cultural centre, all those things are important. Please help us. It's expected 7,000 new homes will be built in the next 12 months to keep up with growth in the region. A range of fees and charges are set to rise for Queenslanders as the calendar flips to the new financial year. Drivers will notice some of the increases on their morning commute, but there's one bill that will surprisingly go down. A celestial down. event that has links to biblical times is right on our doorstep. Tony joins us now with some details. Well, Bill, tomorrow marks the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter, which means they'll be their closest in the sky in over a decade and making the planets appear like a bright star. You'll have to look to the west just after sunset. A similar conjunction was traced back to the year 2 BC. Now, we should have mostly clear skies to view the conjunction tomorrow evening. I'll have the forecast soon. We'll see you then. Thank you, Tony. Soon in 7 News, Australia's largest Wi-Fi network. It's been launched today, but there is a catch. You'll have to share your home wireless with passers-by. How to join up and is it secure? That story just before the weather. But time now for the sport with Webby. Thank you, Sharon. Hello, everyone. Coming up, the extraordinary lengths Robbie Farr is going to to play the Origin Decider. What a kickoff for the Maroons. Swamped in the north. A Brisbane battler fells tall timber at Wimbledon. And it's confirmed Australia and New Zealand will share cricket history. <laughs> Retiring centre Justin Hodges has backed Dane Gagai to succeed him long term. And he's tipped the Knights Flyer to make a strong Origin debut next Wednesday. Hodges is savouring his final week in camp revelling at today's huge welcome in Proserpine. And Casey Delacroix will lead off our live and free Wimbledon coverage tonight from 8.30 across on 7.2. Sharon, the tennis fans aren't getting a lot of sleep at the moment. No, Wimbledon is always a good show. Indeed. All right, thank you, Webby. Finance and Fuelcast are next. Plus, how to become part of Australia's largest Wi-Fi network. But is it safe? And the cloudy morning tomorrow, though clear skies aren't too far away. I'll have the details next.
today's main stories now and Greece has just hours to pay $1.6 billion in debt or be thrown out of the Eurozone. A military plane has crashed into a crowded neighbourhood in Indonesia, killing at least 30 people. A 79-year-old man has been stabbed at a Sandgate nursing home. A 76-year-old has been charged with attempted murder. And a monkey from the Pirates of the Caribbean film shoot has bitten a makeup artist at Movie World on the Gold Coast. Checking finance now, the Australian share market has closed on a positive note on the last day of the financial year. The ASX 200 is up 36 points as investors wait for more news out of Greece. The big four banks all gained ground. BHP Billiton added 10 cents. Locally, Horizon Holdings rose 3 cents. Flight Centre lost 24 cents. The Australian dollar is buying nearly 77 US cents. And in fuel cars, drivers should try to delay filling up until prices fall further. Thousands of Australian homes are now Wi-Fi hotspots. Telstra turned on its new wireless network today. Telstra Air offering free Wi-Fi around the country. The catch? You must share your own internet connection, raising an obvious question. Is it safe? Australians are about to let strangers in their home, albeit virtually, through shared Wi-Fi. It automatically connects to the Wi-Fi hotspot as you're walking past and gives you a nice pop-up message to tell you you're connected. The $100 million network went live today with 4,000 hotspots in homes and pay phones in more than 250 towns and cities. Wi-Fi sharing is booming overseas. This is just one service in the United States. Telstra says customers have nothing to worry about when it comes to security and speed. It works like this. The home Wi-Fi signal is locked down and private, securely partitioned from the public signal. Approved wireless gateways will also limit the number of guests and switch off the hotspot when the internet connection slows too much. Think about it as a, as a highway, so where you've got multiple lanes. And while your home computer is shielded from cyber intruders, using Telstra Air is just like any other public wireless network. We've been telling customers that anything that's login based, things like Facebook or internet banking, we recommend they do that on their mobile phone, over the network there, or when they get home. In five years, they want two million hotspots in homes. Juros in, Seven News. Let's get the weather now. Here's Tony Orden. Thank you, Bill. Hello again. In stark contrast to yesterday, it's been a mostly dry and sunny day across the southeast, and we can expect more clear skies for the rest of the week for the most part at least. At the moment in Ipswich it's 15 degrees with humidity sitting on 89%. Across the region overnight showers and drizzle saw parts of the Sunshine Coast record over 20 millimetres to 9am. Since then we saw some morning fog and mostly clear skies today. 23 degrees the top along the Brisbane Valley and 11, uh, 13 to 22 rather for Caboolture and Logan. Uh, looking down from above uh, heavy rain on the north tropical coast overnight over 100 millimetres has caused some minor flooding. Uh, otherwise we've got a cloud band over eastern inland districts delivering some very light rain and this trough is also triggering some storms uh, in the south of the state. Then as we zoom out, uh, cloud is wrapping around this low pressure system in uh, near the Solomon uh islands rather. Now onto the forecast chart the Weather Bureau has given that system a high chance of becoming a rare winter cyclone in the next couple of days. Back over Queensland that trough system should weaken as it moves east with a couple of lingering showers over southern Queensland, maybe even a storm. Around the country a partly cloudy day in Melbourne and Adelaide tomorrow with tops of 14 degrees apiece and sunny in Alice Springs. In northern Queensland the heavy rain should ease back rapidly on the north tropical coast, just a possible shower in Cairns and a partly cloudy top of 27 in Townsville. Heading south, Roma and Toowoomba could see an early shower or even a weak storm as that inland trough moves through. Then some patchy cloud for Gympie and sunny skies further north except for a possible shower and 25 degrees in Gladstone. For the southeast, we should see some high cloud and maybe a very light sprinkle in the morning, then clear conditions in the afternoon, 8 to 23 degrees in Ipswich and tops of 23 also for remaining inland centres. Across the suburbs, another mild day with temperatures just above average, 22 degrees by the Bayside suburbs and 9 to 23 at Oxley. Onto the water, light south-southwesterly winds early, then a weak afternoon sea breeze and high tide is just after 8.30am. 
Uh, so in Brisbane tomorrow, a possible shower it will be most likely late morning before cloud clears during the afternoon. 12 overnight, then up to a top of 23 degrees. On to the seven day forecast, Thursday and Friday should bring clear skies to see out the first week of the school holidays. In Ipswich, overnight temperatures are set to drop three up to 20 degrees on Friday. Then showers are a very slim chance again over the weekend. And onto the Gold Coast, plenty of sunshine this week and the odd shower around for the weekend. So roads could be wet if you're running the marathon. But overall, not a bad week of winter weather on the way. That's not too bad. Thanks, Tony. That's all from us this Tuesday. Thanks for your company. Tomorrow on Sunrise, live to Greece as the country's debt deadline hits. But for now, from all the team, have a very good night. Good night.